Also tonight, the sweeping changes in California jails after sheriff's deputies kill a Bay Area inmate. That plus the day's top stories in your two minute mix. He made one mistake and it cost him his life, you know. <laughs> Martin Harrison attacked deputies at the Santa Rita jail in 2010 after suffering alcohol withdrawals. Alvian was allowed to decide he was not at risk of going into alcohol withdrawal. He died after deputies beat and tased him. Well, the end, we really hope that what happened to our dad has a bigger meaning. Alameda County and the jail health care provider Corizon agreed to pay his family $8.3 million and agreed to sweeping reforms. Registered nurses, not LVNs, must handle initial evaluations. Golf Club Heist. Irish pro golfer Paul McGinley is here to compete in the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. While eating at the Cliff House in San Francisco, someone broke into his rented SUV at Ocean Beach. McGinley is testing new clubs to be ready for the tournament Thursday. The death of this transgendered woman We're tired of senseless murders. sparked this anti-violence protest at City Hall in San Francisco. Taha de Jesus stabbed last weekend in the Bayview. We're people, just like anybody else. The suspected killer found hanging in an apparent suicide. It's confirmed. ISIS hostage Kayla Mueller is dead. ISIL is responsible for that death. My immediate reaction is heartbreak. The militant group emailed the Arizona family a photo confirming Kayla's fate. The world grieves with us. The world mourns with us. No word how or when she died. Suspended for six months. The mission won't go away. The job remains. NBC Nightly News anchor Brian Williams won't be on the air or paid for six months. Williams lied about being on board an Army helicopter hit by a grenade in Iraq in 2003. Target is paying up $4 million to settle claims it's overcharging its customers. The Marin County DA says Target charged more at the register than the price posted on the shelf.